Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Balloon Super Monkey 2. Uh, in between the last episode and this episode, I just spent like 15 minutes grinding in case you didn't see the end of last episode. And uh, now, once I get here, uh, I have enough money to buy the Moab. Uh, so I'm going to buy it and stuff. So now what's interesting about this is that when you get the activated ability, uh, that doesn't mean you have to use like the Mega Fruit, like the, the line in front of it. You can use the Solid Doom and the activated ability from... Um, from the Moab. So now it doesn't change my appearance or anything, but down here you see the Moab activated ability on the bottom. And then that's where the not purchase, click to open purchase screen thing is going to happen for those. So uh, now my next focus is going to be getting the research. And that's going to be, I think, like 2300 is what I said it was going to be last time. Uh, so if I don't make it to here, I'll probably play one, maybe two more stages and then start um, saving up for it. Now I think it's probably going to be UFOs. So I'm going to get the thing the block safe. Uh, even if there's no UFOs, uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's not that much money. Uh, switching it back to hardware uh, so it looks cooler. And then here there's just this big stream of, uh, oh no look there are UFOs really early on. So there's this huge stream, kind of like DNA I guess, of uh, balloons that just come down. That uh, obviously my current upgrades uh, upgrade level is no, it, does, it doesn't pose a problem for this. Uh, but you can see that pineapple uh, floating behind me. And that is the Moab, basically. Uh, it, having it there behind me just lets me know that I'm able to use it because it does have a cooldown. Um, once I click um, click my left mouse button uh, in order to use it, then it'll disappear and then uh, just take some time to uh, regenerate, I guess, or reload, <laughs> or cooldown, I suppose. Um, and then it'll appear again. And of course, that was a giant robot that I just totally destroyed <laughs> pretty easily. Uh, now here's another one, and I'm actually going to use the Moab, and uh, it kind of lagged a little bit, but um, it basically, as you saw, just makes that giant pineapple float in the sky for a little bit, or in the middle of the screen, and then just destroys all the balloons on the screen. Not exactly all of them, but it does huge damage, just a massive explosion uh, to pretty much everything on the screen. Uh, now that golden balloon gave me the Gatling gun, which is pretty useful, especially right here in this specific area. Um, but I think my normal upgrade would have been a little bit more useful right then. Uh, so I'm going to use the Moab again on this lead balloon, or lead um, structure, I suppose, uh, because it's a bunch of lead. And uh, it's not that bad for my um, for my power, my super monkey, but uh, it can be a little bit, uh, what's the word? I was going to say frustrating, but not frustrating. It can be a little bit difficult. Uh, now, as you can see, it does take kind of a while for the uh, Moab to cool down, to reload, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it is pretty powerful uh, when you do actually use it, especially if you upgrade the, uh, the research for it, because even though it's not my Super Monkey basic attack, all of the upgrades for increasing, um, like letting the, the bomb tech tower, or not tech tower, what am I talking about, the uh, bomb uh, tree, I guess, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, or I don't know how to explain it, um, but all the bomb upgrades, uh, the research that lets them pop black balloons also applies to the Moab. So if I upgrade it, I think the highest upgrade is up to like every four shots. That means that every four clicks, uh, every four times I use the Moab, then it'll be able to use, or it'll be able to pop black balloons. Uh, and then same for the bigger damage Moab, it goes up to every four shots, it'll do massive damage to all balloon types, um, which is pretty useful. But obviously that does mean you have to use it four times, and it does take a little while uh, for it to actually... Oh wow, that did destroy all of it. But uh, for it to actually um, re reload or cool down, or whatever you want to call it, uh, it does actually take a bit of time. And here specifically is a great time for me to use the Moab, because as you can see, that did take a little while. The arm does retract after a little while, but um, I was actually kind of surprised that I was able to pop it. Because uh, I'm not really that good at popping this arm thing, although, wow, I'm actually doing a lot better at that than I thought I would. Um, but again, just a bunch of balloons raining down from the sky, which are still pretty easy for my uh, super monkey to take care of. Which again, I always feel like I'm gloating or being conceited when I talk about it, but I mean, look at that. That's just, it just totally destroys it. I mean, come on. Uh, and then it just shoots out a little wave. Um, and yeah, my super monkey is pretty awesome at the moment. Um, but let's see. So I do want to uh, upgrade all of the research at once. Now I could do the harder cooldowns. Uh, regenerative science makes activated abilities come back faster. 
I'm going to save that for later. Um, just because I have so many other pieces of research to use, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to upgrade these two, the Heavy Ordnance and the Phosphorus Bombs, um, at the same time as the Hotter Cooldowns. That way, the six that I'm upgrading right now, uh, will, or the seven that I'm upgrading right now, uh, will get finished first, and then I'll go on to these three, and then the other four after that. Uh, so anyways, let's just uh, do that one again, <laughs> because that's what I do. Um, get the blop safe, and let's put it on software, just because that's another thing that I kind of do. Uh, just to make it go a little bit faster. Uh, so again, just big old stream. Now, uh, I I forgot to mention in the last episode that I do actually have a job now. Um, and by the time you're watching this, I'll probably have finished my third day on the job, uh, which is pretty cool. The first I've as of the as of recording this, uh, I've only been to my first day of work, uh, and it was pretty cool. I was in the stock room for most of it, and just putting stuff where it went and stuff. I don't know if I actually said I got a job at a uh, discount clothing store type thing. I'm not sure if I'm, a, I'm actually supposed to say the name. Like, I feel like that is sort of like sponsorship type of thing, even though they're not technically sponsored me. Like, only two or three people at my work actually know that I make YouTube videos, and they don't know what kind of videos. They never said anything like, oh, hey, you should mention us in the YouTube video or anything. It's like, no, I'm just, I work there. I'm just going to talk about it. Like, I don't know. Um, but, I don't know, maybe I'll mention the name of the, of the store in another video. Uh, but, anyways, uh, so just in the stock room doing stuff. It was kind of cool. Uh, it kind of, not really hurt my back, but just made my back kind of sore, which I guess is kind of the same thing. Um, just because I was kind of leaning over the table that I was working on and uh, just sort of complaining, I suppose. Not compl I'm, not, I'm not trying to complain that it was, I'm sore, I guess, because, I mean, it's my own fault, I guess. I don't know. But, um, I don't know, just make it an observation, because I, I feel like I need to talk about something, because uh, obviously I'm just destroying everything else in this game. Uh, it's, it's not really anything to talk about, but um, I don't know. Do any of you watch The Voice? I think I mentioned it before in another video, and I put a link to uh, a YouTuber that's on The Voice and that's actually doing pretty awesome. Uh, they're in the live shows now, so that'd be cool if you could check that out. But anyways, uh, let's see. Just taking this stuff down. Um, I think I might still be able to upload stuff on Saturday. This should be going up on Friday, but um, I should be able to upload stuff on Saturday, I guess. And I'm just going to use my Moab because I haven't really been using it this run, uh, this second time, just because I'm not used to using activated abilities that often, <laughs> obviously. Uh, this is only the... Uh, eh, I was going to say it's only the second time, but I've only got like two or three accounts, so it's of course, it's only like the second time, but I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm talking about anymore, <laughs> what I'm saying. And of course, this is when I should have used my Moab, although I could use it on the next one because I just finished uh, cooling it down or it cooled down or whatever. Um, and just bam, just destroying all of it. It's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like my commentary just went out the window again. Um, but uh, speaking of out the window, I actually climbed in my window uh, recently just because I'm on the second story of uh, my house. And it's not my house, but you know what I mean, uh, the house that I'm living in. And um, I'm going to put out a Moab just to take care of the UFOs without me having to deal with them. But um, after my brother's wedding, we were packing up all the chairs and tables and stuff. And we were going to bring it back to where we rented it from. And uh, on the way there, my dad was just going to drop me off at the house. And we realized, no, 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 no. Neither of us have keys, and uh, that was kind of a problem uh, to get into the house because we made sure everything was all locked up before we left. So then I just had to climb in through my window. So anyways, uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.